Imagine we often enter the current date into this spreadsheet. Rather than doing it manually each time, we can create a macro. If we want to be able to insert the current date into any cell that's selected, rather than always into cell A2, we'll need to use relative references. Now we can carry out the steps we'd like to record. First, entering today's date using the today function, then selecting the date, and formatting it using a custom format. Once we've run through the steps we want to record, we can save the macro. We can give it a unique name and set a shortcut to use to run the macro in future. We'll click on the Edit Script link to see what the code for the macro looks like. Macros use app script commands that you can edit if you want to make small changes to your macro, such as the date format that's applied. To run the macro, select the cell you want to add the date to, then click on the Tools menu and choose Macros. The first time you run a macro in a sheet, you'll need to authorise the script. Click on Continue, then choose your G Suite account. Click on Allow to authorise it, and remember you'll only need to do this once. We can use the shortcut to run the macro too, to save even more time. Thank you for watching. Contact us at Encoris if you want to know more about G Suite.